Okay, good morning everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a quick little video on how to use the Samantha font in Design Space. The Samantha font has many different extra characters. It's a beautiful font and a lot of people like to use this for their designs. And the cheapest place that we have found where you can purchase this font is on Mighty Deals. And I'm going to put the link either at the bottom of this video or in the post, depending on where you're reading about this video. You can purchase it here for $17. There are also different versions. There's several different versions of this, and you can buy them all, or you can just buy the Samantha Upright Pro. That's one of the most common versions that people purchase. And uh, you can get that here at Mighty Deals. Like I said, the link will be under the post or under the video wherever you're reading this so once you download and install the Samantha font on your computer then I'm going to have you go to this website which is called highlogic.com this has a nifty little program that you can download for free and it's called main type and we're going to go ahead and we're going to download that and you don't have to fill that out. You can just click down here at the bottom where it says click here if you want instant access. And this is a program that you have to install on your computer. But this is going to help you with access to all the extra characters and ligatures in the Samantha font. Uh, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or an imaging program like that, you may have access to these already. But a lot of people do not use those different softwares. And so they find it difficult to get access to the extras that come with this font, which is what makes it beautiful. So download and install the main type program. And once you have that installed, and you have your Samantha font installed, let's open the main type program. And you can see here, you might have to move this over a little bit. All my fonts that are on my computer system are showing up here. And yes, I have a lot of them. So let's scroll down here and find Samantha. There it is. Now I'm going to just choose a Samantha Upright because that may be the only one that you downloaded. Once you click on that, on the right hand side, it's going to give you all of the characters. Now I've made mine larger. You can make them bigger or smaller up here. It may look like this when you first open it. But you'll see all the fancy characters. So let's skip over to <clears throat> Design Space and we're going to start a new project. We're going to click on text and let's go up here to our font and let's just type in here Samantha and there's Samantha upright. Let's click on that. We're just going to type Samantha for right now. Okay, now go back to your main type program and let's find the fancy S. Let's say we want this one. All right, you're going to highlight that. You're going to right click on it and copy to clipboard. Now we're going to go back to design space and we're going to oops, take out that S and I'm going to hit control V It's taking design space a minute here. There's our S. All right, and let's say that we want to change the A on the end. Let's go back over here. And go up to the A's. There's our 
our little A's. Oh, no. I believe there's over 2,400 characters in this font. So it may take you a minute. Okay, here we go. So, let's choose this one. Again, I'm going to, oh no, wait a minute, that's got the, let's choose this one. I'm going to right click and copy to clipboard, go back to design space, I'm going to back out that A, I'm going to hit control V and paste it. There's our fancy A. All right, so now let's take this and I'm going to back out some of the space. We want to get that so they're all touching so we can weld it. Like such. That looks good. Oh, you see my end is not quite touching. Okay, that looks good. So with it all selected, I'm going to click Weld. And there's your word with the fancy letters. That's all there is to it. So this little program um, called Main Type, like I said, it's free. And this allows you to be able to easily look at every font on your system and to have access to the extra characters and ligatures that come with any of your fancier fonts. So I hope this helps, and we'll see you soon.